Bloomberg reporting that the bailout insurer is on the verge of a deal to sell two Japanese life insurance units to Prudential Financial. Bloomberg's Jeff McCracken is here with me now uh, with more details here. So nearly $5 billion in cash. Right, right. $4.8 billion in cash. It had been thought if they were going to sell this, they would get between 4 and $5 billion, So they got on the high end, I think, of what people anticipated. And it's a good sign that they got cash. I think that's always the, the preferred, uh, preferred way to go here good if you're the government. For, good deal. Good for deal. If, yeah, I think so. And I think really any deal where they can get something done that's a commercial deal, if you will, is a good sign. And this all fits into a, a larger story with AIG, which is in the next 24 to 48 hours, we're going to have some big announcements coming out of the government about what they're going to do with uh, AIG. Big announcements meaning a big pullback that Correct. they're going to get I, rid of their stake? Right. And this has been going on for a really long time. Interestingly, I would say in the first week of July, I got a call from a, a source that said, I think in the next couple of weeks, we'll have something for you on, on the government being able to get out of AIG. And then mm -hmm. a couple of weeks passed. I talked to the person and said, nope, a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks. So this has been going on for some time. It's really complicated because we think of the government as this one entity. But with AIG, you've got the U.S. Treasury. You've got the New York Fed, which is providing like a $20 billion credit line. And then you've got this trust that's set up that holds AIG shares uh, on behalf of the taxpayers. So you've got three parties on one side. You've got AIG. You've got to find a credit line. You're trying to sell off assets to Prudential. You had a Prudential deal earlier in the year that fell through. So really a multidimensional chess, if you will, in, in extricating the government. So does that mean that uh, that extrication is going to be piece by piece, or does it all have to be coordinated? I think it all has to be coordinated because you have to. The other thing is the government, basically what the government's going to try to do is convert what they have to common stock that they can sell off over time. And I think if we if we look at, say, GM as an example, mm -hmm. it's going to be they're going to be in a position where they hold a huge chunk of AIG and they're going to want to sell piece by piece over time their, their stake. But you can't do it all at once or you end up uh, diminishing the overall value of AIG. The market's not prepared to take 80, 90 percent of AIG all at once. So Ben Moshe has to repay, what, 20 billion in debt on that credit line. So where is he in, in that? I mean, are we going to see more sales before we see the pullback of the government stake? I think we will. And one of the announcements tomorrow that will be interesting to keep an eye on for, keep an eye out for is which banks are going to step in and provide a credit line now mm -hmm. that the New York Fed is going to be pulling back. Tomorrow morning is what we're we expecting. We expect tomorrow morning. We, we reported it tomorrow morning, and I'm, I think that's going to be the case. All right. Well, uh, perhaps on the verge of uh, some big news there. Thank you very much, Jeff, Thank you. for coming in.